Now we are going to solve the exercise subdivision 2 that otherwise, otherwise we can call it as Roman number 2 complete the table. So fraction is 1 by 10 and 2 by 10 and 7 by 10. So you have to convert into decimal. So 1 by 10 how you are going to convert you know that the answer is 0 0.1 here comma 0 0.2 here 0 0.7 I've told you already how I taught you 1 by 10 see uh, 1 is a numerator and 10 is a denominator so in that particular denominator how many zeros first you have to consider the zero how many zero only one zero so you have to move one you have to write the numerator you have to write the numerator as it is this uh, because in the denominator zero how many zeros only one zero that means one place you have to move to the left side so one you have to write after that you have to write one place move to the left so you have to put a point here so one place move to the left so one after that you have to put a point then you have to write zero so 0 0.1 is the answer a decimal means you have to write zero point must come okay that is what i have written 0 0.1 because 1 by 10 means 0 0.1 and 2 by 10 means 0 0.2 and 7 by 10 means 0 0.7 otherwise we can call it as you can write like 1 divided by 10 means so you don't have number you don't have number because 1 is less than 10 so you can't divide so for what you're going to do you have to put a 0 then you have to put a point decimal means you have to put a 0 then you have to put a point after that you have to add 0 here so 10 is divided by 10 means you can get 1 so 10 minus 10 you can get what 0 is a what reminder and quotient is this so the answer is 0 0.1 this also as another method okay so that is what 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 so this is a what mixed fraction so you have to convert into what decimal so 1 is a whole number and 1 by 10 is a proper fraction it's a mixed fraction so you have to write 1 as it is then what you're going to write so is 1 by 10 1 by 10 means what you're going to write that is what 0 0.1 so how are you going to write 1 then after that you have to put a point after that 0 is a whole number so 1 by 10 means the answer is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 you have to add together so 0 plus 1 1 and 1 plus 1 so sorry 1 plus 0 1 you have to put a point here I'll repeat once again see here this fraction is 1, 1 by 10. 1, 1 by 10 is a mixed fraction because 1 is a whole number. 1 by 10 is a proper fraction. 1 means you have to write the 1 as it is. Then you have to put a point. It's called as a decimal point. 1 by 10, you can get the answer is 0 0.10. Sorry, 1 point, sorry, 1 by 10 means the answer is 0 0.1. So, 1.0 is a whole number. So, 0 0.1. Why put 0 here? Because 1 after that put a point. There is no digit that is what I have to put 0. So, 1 by 10. 1 by 10 it is a fraction. If you convert it as decimal the answer is 0 0.1. <coughs> the answer is 0 0.1. So, you have to add with 1.0 plus 0 0.1. So, the, after the zero after the zero you have to put a point zero it is comes under in one's place this is point this is a decimal point this is what one is a tens place so after the point you have digit but here no digit that is what i put zero on the top 1.0 actually one because question is one okay there is no zero because in that particular place 1 by 10 means you can get 0 0.1 so if you add means you have to uh, add properly you don't you, if you don't put point and zero means sometimes you will get confused that is what i have written 1.0 after that plus 0 0.1 you can get that is what 1.1 so answer is 1.1 next 1 divided by 1 is a whole number 3 divided by 10 1 is a whole number and 3 divided by 10 is a what proper fraction so it's all combined together as a mixed fraction the answer is 1 you have to write then you have to put a point 3 by 10 mean what is the answer 3 by 10 means answer is what you will get 0 0.3 so answer is 1.3 after that 1 you have to write 1 and 5 by 10 1 5 by 10 1 is a whole number 5 by 10 is a proper fraction so you have to convert into a decimal so one you have to write then you have to put a point it's a decimal point 5 by 10 what is the answer 0 0.5 so always you have to add one then after that put a point then you have to add zero 
0 0.3 means what you will get 1 0 plus 3 3 then point then 1 plus 0 1 that is called 1 1.3 1. after that again 1.0 answer is 5 by 10 means what you will get 0 0.5 0 then 0 then you have to put a point 5 you must add together 0 plus 5 5 then point 1 plus 0 1 so you can get 1.5 as an answer next write the decimal in words 0 0.6 so you have to write 0 0.6 as a what decimal in words 1.4 you have to write 1 point 4 next 0 0.06 0 point again 0 then 6 0 6 next 2.57 you have to write 2 Point five, then seven. So after the point, you must say each number two point five seven. Two point five seven only you can say. Okay, you should not say fifty seven. Two point five seven. Okay, and the five is called as ten, five tens and seven hundreds. This is zero tens and six hundreds. This is one point five four tens. One point four tens. Zero point six tens. This is also you can write but is very simple method 0 0.6, 1.4, 0 0.06, 2.57. These are the very simple what decimal, simple form of decimal in words. Next we are going to see complete the pattern. So complete the pattern. Now Roman number 3 is complete the pattern. The uh, question is A, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 2 so you have to fill the fill in the remaining what blanks. So 2.3 means what are you going to write? You know that 2.4. Next is 2.5. Next is 2.6. Here so the B sum is 17.5, 17.6, 17.7, 17.8. .7, the remaining 3 blanks you have to fill. So write 17.9. After that. 18.0 next 18.1 so you will get some uh, doubts 17.9 then you have to write what decimal means 0 0.1 you must add with that so 9 plus 1 10 0 is carry over the remaining one is go to the top 9 plus 1 10 so each and everything 17.5 plus 0 0.1 you can get 17.6 17.6 plus 0 0.1 you can get 17.7 and 17.8 plus what 0 0.1 you can get 17.9 so 17.9 after that you have to add with 0 0.1 9 plus 1 10 0 the carry over the 1 is go to the top 7 plus 1 is 8 here you have to put a point don't forget don't forget to put the point and 1 you have to bring down so 18.0 18.1 next 0 0.09, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12. The remaining three blanks you have to write. 0. Point, what? 0. Point 0.13. Next, 0. Point 0.14. You have to write. 0. Point 0.14. Next, 0. Point 0.15. Next, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41. The remaining three blanks you have to fill up. 1.42, 1.43, 1.44. This is the complete the pattern you have to done. So after the Roman number 4, write as a decimal, use the place value charts. I have told you it is always you must write after the point you must say once. After the point, that, that means one tens, that is you know that the basic in a place values, one tens start with one tens, hundred, thousand and ten thousand lakhs, it's going on. But after the, you, if you go for the decimal place value means after the point only you have to consider, after the point, first decimal place, you can call it as tens, second decimal place, you can call it as hundreds. First again, I'll tell you decimal place value means first decimal place value called as Tens. Second decimal place value is called as hundreds. Third, we can call it as what thousands. So now we are going to see. 
so 6700 this a number is given so you have to write it as a place value now after that you have to write the decimal exact decimal number you have to write 6700 so there is no ones place value because it's a whole number so you have to put zero how many tens here six tens this is tens this is hundreds okay so six tens and seven hundreds the answer is 0 0.67 is a decimal number next one and five tenths okay one is a what one is a whole number one is a whole number you have to write one in the ones place and five tenths that means what you're going to write you have to write five in the tens place so how are you going to write hundred place there is no number so you have to put zero not necessary otherwise you just left it the answer is 1.5 if you don't have number means you can put 0 after the point if you put 0 that is no what that is no value for the 0 so answer is 1.5 otherwise you just cancel the 0 otherwise you just rub it okay then 2 and 8 hundreds so 2 in the what ones place and 8 hundreds so there is no place there is no number in the tens place so you have to put zero if, if you don't have any place value for tens means you have to put zero and after the what is the number eight hundred so hundreds place you have to write eight so the decimal number is 2.08 so 2.08 2 is a whole number after that point is decimal point zero in the tens place and eight is called as eight hundreds that is what two and eight hundreds see here so one is a whole number and five in the tens place and hundreds place there is no number so i have put zero the decimal number is 1.5 next 67 hundreds ones place there is no number so i put zero and tens place six and seven place hundreds 0 0.67 answer is 0 0.67 otherwise you can say 0 0.67 it is also right